Hey everybody, Mark Dawes here. Now, yesterday I put out a video called The Law of Unintended Consequences and I've had a few uh, comments and a few emails, a few messages on that one. And one of the ones I've, I've had, which has just come in now actually, is quite an interesting one. It's from a gentleman who wishes to remain anonymous, but he says, I've just been on a training course and I've been told by the trainer that if we touch anyone, a service user, member of the public or whoever, then that is an assault, that amounts to an assault and we can be prosecuted. He said the emphasis of all this was that every time you touch someone, you are committing an assault. And it's even gone so far as to say here, in what he's alleging, the trainer has said, is that the police will arrest you and you'll be prosecuted and you'll lose your job and you go to jail. Well, that's, that's quite frightening, you know, because well, basically, you know, if you're in an employed role where there is an expectation that you have to hold someone, restrain someone, do whatever, whatever you want to call it, if you're being given information like this, that's going to that's going to make you completely risk averse, and that's where that law of unintended consequences came in. So that's a video to watch if you haven't seen it. But as you know, we put out an offer recently. We put out seven hundred and seventy pounds worth of product for forty seven pound, and included in that was the option to actually. Uh, get hold of a, a video series I did with Professor of Law Gary Slapper and in that video series Gary talks about you know some CPS some Crown Prosecution research and in 2005 the CPS went back 15 years and they looked at 20 million cases that had gone before the court and it may surprise you to know that out of 20 million cases only 11 people were found guilty of using force in self-defense that's 11 out of 20 million so it tends to put a different light on what this person has been told by this particular trainer on a training course because statistically you know that means there is an 11 in 20 million chance that you're going to be found guilty if you use force against someone which you honestly believe to be necessary so the problem with the information that's been given out there is that it is actually putting people off using force. And I understand, you know, again, you know, I understand where people are going for. They, they don't like the use of restraint. And I know in some cases, and I've heard this in, you know, myself, I've had this said to me in the past directly to me by a therapist, that if you use force with a service user or a patient, then you as an individual have failed because you haven't actually been able to communicate with them. Really? Okay. Um, you know, and my response to that was, look, if someone's got me by the throat and they're, they're, they're throttling me up against the wall, that's not the time for me to do therapy. That's the time for me to actually, you know, do something to keep me safe and then we'll do therapy later but by the way you know there's a fact for you it's in that video course by professor of law gary slapper 20 million cases were reviewed by the crown prosecution service over a 15 year period and out of 20 million cases only 11 self-defenders were found guilty of using excessive force that is a, an actual statistic it's in that course so if you've got the course go and have a look at that if you haven't got the course go buy the course it's an absolute no-brainer at the price we're offering it for for this limited period of time and one final thing all of the courses in this um, bonus thing we're offering the knives, edge weapons, situational awareness, personal safety, and Gary Slapper's course all now come with a CPD certificate as well. So you actually have a, a CPD certificate saying you've done the course. It'll come out by email, but that's something else we've added as well. So I hope that helps. I hope that allays this person's fears um, because the chances of you being actually found guilty are extremely, extremely low, according to the statistics that Gary Slapper talks about in the course. Thanks very much. Speak to you soon.